Hey guys, girls, my name's Dan and welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith. I'm going to make a rounding hammer. Um, I put a video up a couple of days, me making this. Oh no, stuff. It's alright, I got it. <laughs> of me making this. And um, it was made from a piece of fork truck tine, which was 30 by 30 mil by 40 mil by 100 mil long. And what's happened is the ends of the faces are a bit too rectangular. They're not square and round enough. And um, it's fugly. It's got these weird creases in and it's just not gone right. And I'm not happy with it. I mean, the overall shape that way is pretty good, but then you look at it this way or on the end on, it just looks nasty. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of fork truck tine that's 40 by 40 square by 100 mil long, and I'm going to make it similar to the hammers that I made previously. Um, so I'm going to get on with that, and I'll see you on the other side.
So I've got her all nice and forged up. She's looking stunning. I'm really pleased. Um, I'm really, really, really happy with this. Um, I'm desperate for something that's uh, a bit more rounded on the back for tidying up those awkward to get to your spaces. Um, I'm also going to make uh, a cheese fuller. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. But now I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. So I'm going to grind this up, get it looking nice and tidy, uh, and then I'll see you in a minute. Just aggressive pad thing. I don't know what the grit is for these, to be fair. But just a standard angle grinding disc. Then I moved up to a 60 and then a 120. And now I'm going to move on to one of these Scotch Bright pads. These are expensive, but um, you don't need to use much um, to get these looking nice and shiny and smooth. So I'm going to do that now. So she turned out lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. I'm really happy with her. She's looking absolutely fantastic. Um, really enjoyed making her. She kind of looks a lot like my ball pain, um, except from she's got a much bigger rounder face. So uh, yeah, it's come out really nice. Oh, and it's a bit more, a bit more central. So yeah, it's come out really nice. Uh, if you recognize these, that's right, because they are the hammers that I made not so long ago. Um, I haven't managed to harden them, and I haven't managed to get handles on. That's why you haven't seen them in any of the videos of me swinging them. What I'm gonna do is I'm 100% definitely gonna get those done next week, so there'll be a video of me hardening, heat treating, handling these. This one and this one as well are gonna get some love, and Jay's little hammer's gonna get some love as well, the one he made the other day, because um, he's been an absolute star, and he's helped me out, so I'm gonna make, him, make sure he leaves here with a nice little hammer when he goes. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the video uh, remember chuck a like, um, if you want to get all more videos and stuff that I make remember subscribe and I believe something to do with notifications, I hate this but you know I've got to do it, um, you've got to ring that bell, um, yeah there's a little bell icon to hit that, um, click on it, don't hit it because nothing's going to happen, if you hit the screen nothing's going to happen, uh, but do click on it though, um, yeah so that's, um, that's all cool and um, Chuck your comments down below. I really love talking to you guys. Um, there's a little community growing now and I'm really enjoying that. So if you want to be part of that as well, remember, chuck a comment down. I try and speak to everybody. Um, there's a lot of you now and I'm finding it hard to keep up. So give me a day or two, I'll get round to you. I really, really will. Um, if you're interested in the hammers, they're on the website. Um, if you're interested in any other tooling, they're on the website. You can send me an email. We can have a chat about things that you want. Remember, I'm keen to make, so uh, take advantage. Um, and um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Oh yeah, no, sorry, that's the uh, the googly eye thing. So get yourself some googly eyes. Get them stuck on a piece of kit in your workshop. Take a picture of it. Head over to Instagram. Put that picture up on Instagram. Put in the description on the Instagram thing. Um, I a studios underscore Dan, um, and then hashtag googly eyes in the forge, and you'll get me finding out about your googly eyes that you've stuck on stuff, and I will. Shout out one of the best each week if we get some. We haven't got any yet, but if we get some, that'd be really cool. I hope uh, we start getting some people chucking some pictures up, and then once a week you get a shout out, and uh, I'll uh, chuck a picture up somewhere on the screen of your amazing picture or video or whatever you put up because I love to see them. So uh, uh, get on that, guys. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like to watch a video of me making these hammers, I'll stick her up there and then um, I'll stick a little video to the greatest blacksmithing tool ever for beginners part 2. See you later. <laughs>